Welcome. In front of me I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 and today I'll show you how you can boot this device into recovery mode. Now before we get started you will need to grab a cable and you will also need a computer for this. That is the way we boot into recovery mode on Samsung here. So let's plug it in right away and I'm gonna pull down our notifications, pull it down even further and you will find this power button. Click on it and you want to select power off. Now before you actually finish, uh, well, when you press on it, you'll want to hold power key and volume up once the screen turns off. So you can put it into recovery mode. Now, if you hold it too late, it will show you the charging progress uh, once the device is turned off and you need to wait for it to kind of like time out and gray out. Uh, otherwise you will be holding those keys for nothing because as long as that is kind of like going through its animation, it will not put you into recovery mode. So that is just a little info there. Anyway, let's just now proceed. So power key or power off. It's off, so power and volume up. Uh, if you don't see a Samsung logo on a screen in like five seconds or so, let go of the keys and start holding them again. And there we go. Now the reason why we let go of those keys, at least I did, is because uh, it looks like I started holding them a little bit too soon, which again, too soon also won't boot you into recovery mode. Uh, so all I needed to do is let go of them for just a brief moment and hold them again. Anyway, once you do so and you boot into recovery mode, in this mode you'll need to use volume keys to navigate through the device. Additionally, the cable isn't needed anymore, so you can unplug it. As you can see, volume down navigates down and up goes up and power key will be used to confirm whatever is selected. Now, options accessible right here are a reboot system, which takes us back to Android, a reboot to bootloader, which I believe might be a download mode or fast boot mode, one of those two. It's not actually a bootloader, so don't get your hopes up. Then we have apply updates from ADB or SD card, wipe data or cache partition, run system, few logs, run tests, power off or repair apps. Now, whatever you select, you can then confirm with power key, like I mentioned before. So, because I want to leave this mode, I'm sticking with reboot system now. Confirm that, and this will take me back to Android. And as you can see, we are now back in Android. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.